It was our third major flood event in one year's time. The May flood left much of our area underwater. Some of the hardest hit neighborhoods were in Fort Bend County. Now, after four months, we're getting a look at what families are still dealing with as they try to recover. Channel 2 Samantha Potashkin with the story tonight. It's been a few months now since heavy rain hit Fort Bend County and many homes still look like this. Families just barely getting back on their feet. Well, over here, all the walls, everything was destroyed. They pulled Nathan Garza has his work cut out for him. In May, several feet of water rushed into his grandparents' longtime home and destroyed everything. You walk in the house, there's an inch, an inch thick of mud everywhere and the furniture. Nathan has been trying to rebuild the home ever since as his grandparents stay with a relative. There's so much work, it's just so much so much work because it's it destroyed everything. It's the same story for 500 to 700 Fort Bend County residents still trying to rebuild. And even though FEMA helps a little bit, there's a great need. A lot of people think the recovery is over uh, and it's not. Jeff Braun from the Fort Bend County Office of Emergency Management says the county has created a long term recovery committee. It's aimed at getting donations to give flood victims the basic necessities. We got people now that are in the area of trying to they're getting their homes repaired maybe little by little. And at some point, they're going to need new furniture. That's the washer and dryer that's destroyed. For Nathan's family, anything helps. They still have a pile of destroyed appliances and furniture just sitting in their yard. We're getting everything they've built up for the years and years of they've been in the relationship with the kids and everything else. They have the memories they have here with the whole family. Nathan says he's hoping to get this house done for his grandparents now in the next couple of months. Reporting from Fort Bend County, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News. To find out how you can make a monetary donation or donate furniture to the Fort Bend recovery effort, go to our, this story, Samantha's report, on click2houston.com.